Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Curly K Glam, and I'm here today to bring you a show and tell and a hair review. Okay, y'all, so let me just get down to the nitty gritty, okay? While I got the time and while it's quiet. Um, I know before I get started, y'all, if you haven't um watched my last video on my um rubber band method, Senegalese twist, please check that out. I did use the sensational the sensational rule of hair braiding. I also have an updated video on my, on my thoughts before I took my twist out. I just want to, you know, throw that out there. Also, please be sure to check out all my wig reviews. But right now, for the next couple of videos, these will be braiding videos. So if you're into hair braiding and you're into experimenting with different looks and challenging yourself, you know, these next couple of videos are for you. Um, I'm out of my wig bag right now. I was in my wig bag for a mean minute, but now I'm bright on my braiding tip because I just want to protect my hair during these winter months. And then I'm trying to give my hair a break because I do have a, um, a wedding coming up in February and nine times out of 10, I probably will be wearing a wig. Um, unless I'm able to get my hair braided and I can get it like curled in style or whatever. But other than that, um, I just want to, you know, take the time out to... Just say all that. So, y'all, I don't know if y'all remember. I mean, if you, you're you an avid subscriber to my channel, um, probably a year or two ago, I did a review on Amazon braiding hair. And that video has done really well over the last two years. So, I wanted to come back and do an updated version of some more hair from Amazon. I actually went back in my Amazon history two years ago and purchased that exact same hair. So, I wanted to see if it was a difference between the hair. Um, and my experiences, but I did also try in a different style. Okay, so when I did my hair two years ago, I used this triple ombre braiding hair. As y'all can see, the colors are pretty. I love me blonde, and I'm so happy now that they're making like braiding hair and these ombre shades. Um, I did go back on my Amazon history. I purchased that same hair. But two years ago, I used this hair to do um, Poet of Justice braids when a rubber band box braid method thing was really big then. But now I want to try them on some tribal braids. Now, for my tribal braids, I just want to show y'all. I know, ew, she did not braids. But, you know, this, I need to clean my camera off. My camera is dirty. But anyway, ew, I know I did um, not braids and not feed ins, y'all. Listen. The struggle to learn how to do feed-in braiding or even just, like, knotless braiding is, like, very, like, intense. I didn't think it would be that that much of a, a learning process because typically, you know, when I learn how to do hairstyles, they usually come, you know, pretty easy to me. But that feed-in, I... Mm -mm. So I just had to go with what I knew, child. So what I did was I did layer braids. I did three layers. I got this top layer. Then I got a second layer. And then I got this bottom layer. Well, that's second layer. Then I got this bottom layer. I did um watch how to section my hair and everything from mad videos. But the video that I watched the most was um a layer braid video from Kirsty Petrie, y'all. So, if you're familiar with her, Kirsty Petrie, check her channel out. And if I remember to put the link down below in the description box to her channel, I will. But if not, I'm sorry, Kirsty, but girl, you inspired me to do these layer braces. Okay, so, y'all, I don't think I've ever been that challenged in my life. Like, braiding my hair in these layer braids was extremely difficult for me. And like I said, I'm not like a novice hair braid i've braided my hair multiple times before in multiple styles but these tribal braids y'all gave me a run for my money okay parting gave me a run for my money like just parting the hair into sections like i'm the type of person that when i braid i like to pre-section my hair out that way i have a guideline on how you know to go i don't like to free part and you know i like to be very strategic when i braid so i of course section my hair out into the three sections I tried to pre-stretch my hair the night before, but when I woke up, my hair was still wet, so I had to blow dry my hair out. But in order to moisturize my hair, the product that I did use was this Cream of Nature Coconut Moisture Milk for Natural Hair. This is actually my first time using this product. I had this product for probably about a month now, 
but I don't, I didn't really use it like that because when I first tried it, I didn't think my hair really took well to it, which is crazy because I use a lot of Cream of Nature products, but like I only use Cream of Nature on my hair and that's it. So I thought that, you know, since I use all Cream of Nature products that this hair would take well, but for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's because, no, it's not because it's coconut. I don't have any coconut sensitivities, but I don't know. But when I used it on my hair this second time, I, it actually moisturized my hair. Like the last couple of times I took taken my braids down, my hair has been really soft, which means, and um, yeah, which means that, you know, I'm doing a good job keeping my hair moisturized because usually sometimes when you take braids out, your hair is sometimes really dry and coarse. But because I've been, you know, hammering moisture and hydration onto my natural hair, especially while it's braided up, I haven't had, I haven't seen a lot of breakage or anything with taking my braids out. Um, what I used for braiding my hair was this Jamaican mango and lime locking firm wax and it's Moringa sea oil and Manuka honey extra hold. It's four locks and I actually, I actually accidentally purchased it thinking it was going to be like that Murray's wax to slick your hair down, but it's not. So <laughs> I used it to um, basically smooth my hair down while braiding because um, also when I braid, I always use Shining Jam. I really like this Shining Jam Honey Extra Hole. This Shining Jam works wonders. I don't know if y'all can see that. I wouldn't, I don't use it to like slick down my natural hair, but when it comes down to braiding and helping to mold your hair into the extensions, it actually works. So I use a combination of both of these things. Um, when initially like starting my braid off, I did use this. And as I went down the strand, I did use this because I was like, if it's locking firm wax, it's going to keep my hair in place. I shouldn't have too many freezes or flyaways, you know what I'm saying? It's been almost a week since I had these braids. I'm sorry that I haven't come to y'all sooner to show you guys, but of course, it's holiday time and things are just like extremely hectic right now. <sighs> Gotta love holiday time, guys. But... I'm not new to the line Jamaica Mango, Jamaican Mango and Lime. I actually have used their black castor oil mixed with peppermint. And I also have a video that has done fairly well on my channel as well on their braid spray. I love it. It smells limey, but then it smells like minty. I just love the way it smells. I'm a type of person like when I do smells, I like herbal smells i don't really like like floral and masculine smells but this jamaica making this jamaica jamaican <laughs> mango and lime product oh i got some in my nose it smells so good and my braid spray space my braid spray smells exactly like this okay now y'all for the show and tell now i don't know how many braids i have in my hair guys but like i said i have three layers i have so many braids it legit took me all day to do this it took me um i started braiding my hair around eight in the morning and i left the house around four and i only had this top section done so it took me at least 10 hours so when kirsty say it took her 14 hours and she's a braider like legit and she did the knotless feed-in method had i done that it probably took extremely longer Oh, it was another lady whose video I watched. She did do her braids, the regular braid method. She has a salon. I forgot her name, but I will link her video down below in the box as well. So, y'all, if y'all want to try styles on y'all hair, girl, feel free because, you know, one, it's a pandemic. Everybody ain't going to get their hair done like that. Two, I mean, with all this free time, with us, you know, being in the house more, you don't have nothing but time. I know I don't have nothing but time. I can't say for everybody else. Three, I mean, why not try anything? And four, for me, like when I just get in the zone and I actually sit down to do my hair, not only is hair like an art, art form to me, it's very cathartic for me. Like I can just sit down and I can see it's something in my head and I can just, you know, go for it. And that's what I did with these braids. Um, the oil I put on my hair, I've only oiled my hair once since I did these braids and, um, I think I use just regular castor oil. Um, I haven't used any other oil on my hair, 
But I am going to oil my braids today just because it's been Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four days since I oiled my scalp, so I know it's time for me to oil them again. But yeah, I, like I said, I did them Saturday. Today is Wednesday, and so by the time Saturday comes again, this video is uploaded, it would have been a full week that I've had these braids. Um, I don't know what number I'm on now, but I'm just going to say I like these braids. I like that I challenge myself to do them. Um, They didn't come out exactly how I wanted them to. I was kind of disappointed about that, but I also felt accomplished because I tried something, even though my parting might be a little jacked up in the back. So if I turn around and you see like a few crooked parts, don't judge me. Just know that I tried. This is my first time. Everyone, don't be hard on me. Okay? We are all learning and in this together. Okay? <laughs> um, In terms of dipping, I had to dip this hair twice. This is what the ends look like. They are not as smooth as typical, like, especially over here, you can see it. The ends are not as smooth as, you know, it would typically be if you were to buy, like, hair from a regular um, braiding, a regular beauty spot store. That's the word. Um, one thing I did notice, just because I took my Rua um, sensational hair out, that Rua sensational braiding hair was so much smoother, okay, and it was pre-stretched. This hair is not pre-stretched, and this hair is a little bit more coarse. It doesn't have the same feeling as braiding hair. Um, Also, I've used, like, expressions braiding hair. It doesn't have that same touch. Now, one of my packs was really coarse, and then my second pack was really smooth. I ordered a pack of you know, it, on Amazon, you can buy them in bulk. So I think my first pack had five and then my second pack had three because I wanted to make sure I had more than enough hair for this style. But I legit only ended up using two bundles and two strands. Or was it four? Four strands out of the third pack. So I legit have six complete packs of hair left Thinking, I don't know why I thought I needed so much hair for this style. I know I wanted my braids small and lightweight, especially around like the edges because edges are important. Um, but <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think that I would only use two packs. So now I got more than enough hair to do another style. So I probably will be coming back on this channel to do the big jumbo rubber band box braids because after I take these out, I probably want to do something easy and quick. It's going to be between the Jumbo Boss Braids and the Marley Twist. Because I don't think I'm going to keep these in for a month like I usually do my other styles. Usually I keep my styles in from three weeks to a month. But this time, I think this style is only going to get two. So, next Saturday, these will be coming out. <laughs> next Saturday, these will be coming out. And I'll probably be back to show you guys what I did to my hair because I have a hair stash. I'm a hair YouTuber. I have a hair stash. And I got plenty of styles I can get out and show you guys and crank this content out. Just to keep, you know, the momentum going. Um, Like I said, the hair was coarse this time. It didn't dip well. I had to dip it twice. And when you dip this hair, y'all, y'all have to dip it in extremely hot water. I know typically, you know, when you do regular braided hair, like stuff that kind of get by from Beauty Supply Store... Or when you use pre-stretched hair. I mean, a one-two dip and the hair straight. This dip, girl, I was dunking and dunking and dunking and dunking. Dunking, pull it out, get the towel, drain it off. I'm looking, dunking, 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 looking again. Dip. Like, it was, a, it was a process, y'all. Is this hair affordable? Yes, I spent $40 on eight packs of hair, which, you know... If you buy individual packs in a beauty supply store, that's probably basic. But girl, when you can buy the pre-stretched hair that come in a three times pack, you can only spend six dollars and you not even use all six of them bundles. So, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta weigh your options when braiding hair. When you braid your own hair, you save tons of money and hundreds of dollars. You know what I'm saying? This hairstyle probably only cost me ten dollars because I bought five, eight bundles and i spent 40 dollars. so yeah this is a 10 dollar braid in style y'all and um 
yeah so i think i told you everything about the hair i told you the products i used on the hair i got real windy and long-winded with this video and i need to hurry up because it's getting too long i'm already 15 minutes so let me just turn around and show your hair and yes i have on a onesie so also don't talk about me i'm at home it's holiday time sis is chilling This is where I messed up, y'all. These are the crooked parts, okay, y'all? So don't say nothing. Jesus. Am I in frame? I don't even know. But yeah, y'all, let me show you how far they come down. Next time, I'm just going to do two layers and not try to do the bows and do three. This is how long my braids come down. This is my waist, waist length. You know, some braids did fall short of that, depending on what layer they're on. But, you know, I think I did a good job. What y'all think? I got some compliments on them so far. But like I said, I got to do better on corn rolling. I just got to do better, y'all. But I think I did good. Didn't come out as I wanted, but I still, you know, appreciate the end result. So, yeah, y'all, rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Curly Cake Lamb, and I will be back with more videos. Deuces.